Here we go. For the throne. Can I go to the bathroom real quick before we play? No, no. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win. Or you die. Winter's here, except it comes out in the spring. So, I have not seen a single episode of Game oh my of You're Thrones. missing out. Gosh, no there, I dude. hear that. I hear that a yep. lot. There uh, will never be a show as good as Game of Thrones. You might as be As right. consistently interesting. Yeah, you might be right. With consistently good performances from not only the actors, but the people behind the screen, behind the cameras, writing the fucking scripts. There will never be a show as consistently good and compelling as Game of Thrones. Wrong. Golden Girls. <laughs> Not the name I was you expecting. Son of a bitch. <laughs> the only thing that uh, has disappointed me about Game of Thrones is finding out that the very expensive White Walker edition of Johnny Walker whiskey tastes exactly the same as all the other versions it's, of Johnny it's, Walker it's, whiskey. It's, it's branding. It's just branding. Yeah, <laughs> you're just paying. For it was. Branding. Yeah, I paid like fourteen dollars extra for that shit. Fuck you, Game. of... No, I'm just Game of Thrones. I'm not excited for this final season because I don't want the show to end. I the, agree, but we already got a bunch of shows lined up afterwards, yeah. including the the prequel that's oh, coming yeah. out. Not, and not and too then soon the after. the what is it? The one that, that's that's like the houses in more or less a modern day thing. The houses. Yeah, I there was. I, I just heard about this okay. the other day. What is it? Okay. I, like I a futuristic could, Game of Thrones, basically. Yeah, yeah basically. Like a like modern, not, a, and it's not in like a dystopian future. Yeah, you like know? a modern yeah, day it was, Game of Thrones. It was a modern day you. setting, but just with uh, with all of that neo feudalism having kept on until gotcha. like the more equivalent of the the present. But it's day. not Game of Thrones related. I believe it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I. I this is all supposition, hearsay, and conjecture. Okay. Okay. Like, I have nothing concrete about it. Just heard about the, it. The, the characters in Game of Thrones are incredible. Um, it's so easy to hate Sansa until you keep watching and yeah. suddenly... No, honestly, I think it's easy to hate a lot of the characters. It reminds me of, like, kind of like Sons of Anarchy. Mm -hmm. They build this huge web of, like, family... And you, you're like, oh, this is the worst person. No, this is the worst person in the show. No, this is a bad person. And you keep jumping around. But they also make you do that because they jump around so much. There's right. 50 storylines going on at once. Phenomenal. I, I just, I'm looking forward to the fact that I will get to binge it from beginning to end. You sure. never know what's going to happen. You don't actually. I was thinking about that while I was watching this, this teaser. I was like, I don't even need to binge the show before. Again, because I watched it all, right. mm -hmm. because they just showed every major that, death yeah. just, right. <laughs> ever just, okay. in the show. <laughs> I, I, I've never seen it. So, was there any new footage, or was that all was just all, old? Yeah, it's, old it's, yeah. Bring it, okay. just watching that was like in me all nostalgic. Yeah, you just you literally saw like like you almost every from episode. The first episode, the first I noticed. First episode yeah. was on there. Like mm. everything was on it's, that. It's crazy to watch the first episode of Game of Thrones knowing what's going to happen to mm. all of those characters. You went, you're going back or you went back? Yeah, I went back. I can't mm. do it. Like, just watching, like, Rob Stark talk, I'm like, <laughs> I feel bad for you, Rob. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. your future. Yeah. It's not good. Uh, no, you're. I mean, you're You're absolutely right, Connor. I don't know that there's been another show as at least as ambitious as this. And, 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 and pulled it off. There's There have been no, shows yeah, I was like, well, they, um, they, that, that Terra Nova. Terra Nova was a really ambitious. It was... It was a Fox show with dinosaurs. That, that was the one where, yeah, it was, it was like the, uh, uh, there was like a time travel thing, and yeah. they all went back into like prehistoric era. Had something to do with start the, uh, the military guy from uh, Avatar. Yeah, and it, well, it had something to do with like overpopulation and like they're mm -hmm. they're that's an experiment to to. to and then there have been shows. There have been lots of shows that had this like huge idea. And then just couldn't capitalize on it. Uh, Lost. Lost is one of those shows. Sure. Uh, I worked on, worked on a show here that didn't even make it past the pilot, but it was so like they had like huge, humongous sets and all these things, and and, and it just just 
<laughs> yeah. Running like, out totally. of money? They could, no, they couldn't yeah. make it happen. They had, no, yeah. they had no idea what to do with it, <laughs> how to make it work. And, and, and to think, just, yeah. like, the books still aren't even finished. Right. Yeah. yeah that's like amazing. went past the books, right? Past like the, the books. He's. Like, I don't think George R. R. Martin's going to finish the books. He doesn't have to. <laughs> Why? He's just going to swim in his. Do you know how much uh, money I've pool made? Scrooge pool of money. Yeah, his Scrooge yeah. McDuck pool of money. It's just. Let's go like, up yeah. to Santa Fe and kick his ass. No, I, I've met him. He's a very nice man. Yeah, he, he seems yeah. like it, and all of his. He seems so humble. And he nice. humored us. He humored us when we <laughs> met him. It was nice. Oh, was it for the company you used to work for? No, no, no. Oh. Uh, we met him. I met him uh, right before a Rocky show. Oh. Like he he had seen a because uh, he owns the Jean Cocteau in Santa Fe. Um, they had just done a, like a there was some magician or something there, and um, he went to go see that, and then he stuck around for a little bit, and we talked to him before he left. Were and, you on this Rocky show? Yeah. Nice. It was really nice to us. Did and he see your Rocky show? No. Oh, he geez. left. Oh. Actually, like, it's a funny story. That dude's sto- seen Rocky. It's a funny story because uh, he, you know, he was talking to us. He's like, "Oh yeah, we did the time warp at my wedding." Does and he I- actually sound like Santa? Yeah, he does. Yeah, okay. Nice. And, and in my mind, I was like, "There's no way you did the time warp at your wedding." And then as he was getting into, we took a picture with him, and as he was getting into his car, this guy, uh, who is not my friend. <laughs> uh, as he was getting his car without missing a beat, this guy turned him and was like, "Right faster." <laughs> oh, God. And we just stared at him in horror, like, <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna throw, I'm gonna kill you. On his Wikipedia, there's a whole section on relationship with fans, which is nice. a great. I don't think I've ever seen that title, that 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 uh, yeah, content. Yeah. No, ever. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for the final season of Game of Thrones. Uh, and good. I brought it up. Uh, I brought up his thing because oh yeah, wild card. He's got a show coming out. Oh, here you go. No, yeah, he's got another show coming out on Sci-Fi, right? Uh, Is it going to be wild cards? No, no. Okay, because I was going to say, that's a superhero series, and I'm interested in that. I think um, I think he has a second show that's being tossed around right now. Somebody wants to buy it, or somebody's trying to buy it. I can't, I can't find him. But uh, I don't know when his sci-fi show starts. We watched the trailer here once. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe if we go down to his... God damn, is that, his, the, the, is that all the wow. books he's written? Jesus this guy <laughs> george r. r martin is an amazing writer this guy can't He's stop prolific. writing yeah sure i don't know i just uh my only basis is the south park episode <laughs> <laughs> one penis next to another like yeah that's Did all you guys I know, know that he it. wrote for twilight zone nice the, is that me. the oh the old oh that's the 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 re when they tried to revive it, this yeah. is the eighties. Yeah. Okay, they, yeah, yeah. They it's, did, well, they've tried they've had yeah, revivals well, yeah. because it was around the same time the Twilight Zone the movie came out. Ah, oh, yeah. Gotcha. And then now there's going to be another revival of yeah. Twilight Zone. Right. Is that the one with Forrest Whitaker? J- Jordan Peele. Oh, okay. He's the he's the he's the dude. He's, he's the a narrator. Guy. I think also right. writing it. Yeah, he's, he's doing he's everything. Producing it. All right. Uh, All right. Night Flyers. That's the one that's being changed into uh, uh, or being turned into a sci-fi show. And I swear another one's getting picked up too. But anyways. Game of Thrones. There's really I'm nothing negative to say about it. No, I'm no, excited fucking, for it. Fucking awesome. Penis. Um, <laughs> penis. Uh, we have two more. Two more. Do you got to go back? I got to pee, dude. Go. All right. <laughs> we'll wait. We'll wait. All right. All right. Cool. 